All right, so I uh, just want to show you how to do the workflow to create a little stone with uh, an emissive material like this that you can change based on your different needs. You can change the color and you can change the uh, emissive power uh, like a lot or very few. So that's going to be the tutorial. Okay, let's start by not deleting the cube, but uh, instead adding a modifier to increase its subdivision surface. Uh, so we're going to use this in order to create a, a basic rock shape. Uh, then add another modifier. It's going to be uh, this place. Uh, create a texture and the texture will be, I like to use the Voronoid. And you play a little bit with the size. There we go. Now we start getting kind of a shape of a rock. Whoops, let's let's go a little bit lower like that. There we go. So that's kind of almost something like I, I tried to remove the uh, the little hedge, but we're going to do this uh, with the sculpting tool. So select this shade smooth. It looks not too bad. So what we do now, we apply those modification and we're going to go in the sculpting mode here. And we're going to do a remesh using the volume. Uh, you can do like shift R to get your resolution. So let's go with something like that. And I go back and remesh. There we go. So that give us kind of a basic shape now. So we're going to fix, try to fix all the little hole in the rock in order to have a flat surface to apply our runes. So um, very easy. You use the flatten like that. And now we're going to fix the edge. Um, what to do to fix the edge? We can use a scrape like this, reduce this and the strength. So now we're going to pick a face. So let's see, we want that face. So this is the face we're going to carve our rune. So let's draw this. like that there we go so we get a kind of a nice room oops i'm gonna put like radius like this gonna do a little part here like that there we go so we get a get a feeling runes effect so now what we do this is a very high resolution as you can see here so we're gonna reduce that uh, we're gonna go back to layer mode there we go and we're going to do another modifier this time, but to reduce, to decimate the stone. So we're going to go one of a 10 of it like this. And we're going to apply that. There we go. So now we have more reasonable size stone. So we don't lose too much of a resolution. It's it's still very high res for a game, but I mean, it's, it's going to be fine. So next step, we need to create a UV. So um, there's different way to do that. So um, I'm just going to go quick again here because I want to be fast. So I'm going to use a smart UV project like this. Boom. So we get our UV ready, all, already done. And let's go back now. We're going to do go on the layout and add a material. So we already have a material, but we're going to link this to an image, an image texture like this. Create one. I'm going to call this runes emissive and we're going to increase a little bit the resolution and also we're going to keep it black because it's going to be useful for our, our emissive material and unreal engine so now if we activate the view shutter so we can see it as a black stone so let's try to have a good view on the face and we're going to start creating the emissive material. So for that, we're going to change this to um, texture paint. We keep the white because white is going to be our base color for the emissive. So maybe reduce a little bit the, the radius and we're just going to slowly create the emissive material like that and then another like here 
another like there so but you notice this little spot was appearing is because we we have a very bad uv so we can fix that by um let's go back to the so we can just fix that um, by using a black color on top of it okay i think it's not too bad all right so we have our curving effect and we have our emissive effect so now we can if we go back to uv for example we can now save this image so let's save as i'm gonna use folder here runes emissive so you save this there and now we're gonna export the fbx same place um, magic stone here we're gonna use this term magic stone oops like this and one thing to adjust for unreal is to change the smoothing to face like that export there we go so now we can go to a brand new project in unreal um, i just for your information import the ne necros utility pack uh, you can download it for free so we're going to use a little part of it. So first thing, we're going to create a folder, just to be clean, called Magic Stone. There we go. And then we import stone, and we import both material and the FBX. And we let them create a material. All right, so we, we came with a stone here. So O stone is, just rotate it a little bit the material so the stone is there so how do we adjust this to make an emissive material that's the goal of this whole thing all right so first of all we're going to disconnect the default material and we're going to use this for our emissive material and we're going to do a first a blend darkened so that's mean we're going to blend the color with the emissive so in, uh, in order to get the emissive we're going to get the the reverse of it and we're gonna do a dodge color a blend dodge color there we go like that so this one will give us let's promote this one material to a, a parameter and we're gonna call this the emissive color like this and we're gonna create uh, a blue let's put it like a blue light blue like that can be a big a dark blue and we're gonna re-inject this on the blend darken like this and we're gonna multiply this to give some power so we're gonna promote this to another parameter and we're gonna call this emissive emissive power like that and we're gonna inject this into the emissive color side of that we can create a basic parameter for the color uh, let's try to find a stone lookish maybe I don't know kind of like that maybe a little bit dark all right so that's gonna be our base color and I'd like to have kind of a normal texture so texture sample and as I said I download the um, this guy so in this content you're gonna find rock normal like um, this one I think it's it's not bad so we can inject this inside of our normal just to give it a little bit of effect I'm gonna put this here for my texture inject this there we go and I'm gonna put like maybe um, tree just to make it a little bit bigger and the last part I like to put it rough one so it's more like a stone lookish there we go and voila this is the the stone we we're looking for so we have now a stone with an emissive material and we can change this if we create like uh, instance material we go in the detail and we're just gonna go put this here like that and then we can change the color of our emissive like maybe pinkish or red pure red for example like that then we can increase the emissive power uh, to 100 
and then we get more like a stone effect. So that was basically more like to figure out how to do this material and the real the real the real little trick here it's this part here. So how to use a white background material to create kind of a runes effect. All right. Thank you for watching. If you have any comment, please uh, add them and below the video. Thank you. Bye bye.